Hello, welcome to Discovery Tennis. Today we're going to be looking solely at the forehand. Now there are two main types of grip that we use for the forehand. These are for intermediate players to beginner players, we use Eastern grip. Now it's pretty easy to get into the Eastern grip. What you do is you place your hand on the face of the racket, slide your hand all the way down to the bottom of the grip, then grip the racket. Now if you look where my little finger is, it's just slightly away from the butt end of the racket. This allows me to get maximum swing. The best thing about the Eastern, it feels very comfortable. My hand is almost in a shake hand grip position. From this position here, I find it very comfortable to hit the lower balls. I feel very comfortable hitting around hip height. With an Eastern grip, you find you get more consistency. The ball will not travel as hard as with, for example, a semi-Western grip, which we're going to be looking at in a second. So again, shake hands with the grip. That is your Eastern forehand. Okay, from this position here we are going to be moving back, letting the racket drop just slightly underneath the ball, we're then accelerating through with the same grip, we're not gripping the racket too tight, we then follow it through right over the shoulder. For the semi-western grip however, what we're looking at is now, we're going to place the racket down on a very flat surface like the court, just drop the racket down, you're then going to place your hand right on top of the racket, grip the racket and simply pick it up. On your grip you have different planes. We say the top plane is one, second two, three and four. This here is my base knuckle. My base knuckle goes between three and four. Okay, and that is called the semi-western grip. And again, if you look at my little finger, very close to the end or butt end of the racket. Again, this allows me to get maximum swing on the ball. Now with a semi-western, you'll find you're able to get more power on the ball, you can get more depth, can also get a lot more spin, okay, because if you're hitting hot the ball harder and you need the power, you need to add a little bit more rotation or a bit more spin on the ball. You'll also find with a semi-western grip, for higher balls it's just that little bit easier to get the spin on the ball in order to keep that ball in the ball. Now we're going to move back to the baseline and we're going to look at the setup leading up to the forehand. Here we go. 